This is a community-supported legal education channel. Find out how you can support our mission at the links in the description below. So Kanye West has been booted off of the Illinois presidential ballot after it turns out he came up 1,300 signatures short because 1,900 signatures were invalid. And I'm here to talk about this from the legal perspective and sort of explain how this might have happened and why it's probably not some kind of election fraud, even though it does seem a little bit uh, disingenuous and maybe a little bit negligent. But I think I have some light I can shed on this situation. So we're talking about these stories, Kanye West short 1300 signatures, Kanye getting booted off the Illinois ballot. Kanye West unlikely to appear on Illinois presidential ballot after paperwork review. Kanye West booted off Illinois ballot amid thousands of invalid signatures. So what are we talking about here? When you are running for office, when you're a candidate for office, how does that happen? Is it like Michael Scott? I declare candidacy. No, not quite. You, first of all, you need to figure out what you're running for and where it is. So if you're running for president, in the United States, okay, that's a big one. You're gonna have to involve all of the states and territories and everybody's gonna have to vote and everything. So let's think a little smaller for our hypothetical today. And I'll talk about my uh, candidacy in, I think it was 2015 or 16, when I wanted to run for local constable. So you've heard me talk here on Lawful Masses about turning this YouTube channel into a nonprofit and working for the nonprofit, both for the benefit of the nonprofit, but then also for the public student loan forgiveness program that I'd be eligible for and would be able to work off my student loans faster and cheaper than if I was to work for a for-profit and pay them off at six and a half percent interest over the next 25 years. Working as a constable for at least 30 hours a week would qualify as working for the government, and that's pretty much the same thing as public service, and that qualifies for public student loan forgiveness. So I was very interested. Uh, as well, it would sort of give me a more official job. You know, as a lawyer back in 2015, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with my life. The YouTube channel started around then, and that sort of answered a lot of my questions. But coincidentally, uh, when I went to the election office to register my candidacy, I think I actually did register my candidacy and got my, my signature sheet and everything. Um, I was also dating someone, another lawyer at the time. This story is not about her, and, I, and although our relationship didn't really work out under the nicest of terms, this is not going to be about that. She did run for constable as well, and we had a bunch of discussions, and we realized that she was probably the better candidate for constable, and I decided that I would just rather support her than, you know, uh, the two of us running against one another or or making her, trying to make her drop out of the race. Uh, I already had my law practice and everything was going fine. She was just starting. She already worked for the county. She had a lot of good things going for her that would just make her a much better, uh, a much better constable. And heck, I'll admit it, she's probably tougher than me when it comes to dealing with people on the street or arresting or, or serving warrants and things like that. She's probably the better candidate anyway. So admitting all of that, what I ended up doing was withdrawing my candidacy, but I helped her then with her candidacy and we did all of the same things that Kanye West has to do. Uh, we only had to do that for one small county level election, but Kanye West has to do this for every state. Basically, here's how it works. When you know what you're running for and, and which election office applies, you go to your county elections office and you register your candidacy before the there's a deadline and everything and what they do is you have to pick a party and they will give you a list of voters of registered voters names and addresses of registered voters so if you think that your name and address and all that is private it's really not that private you can just go get a list of voters you know as part of your candidacy and then you have to collect signatures Every position has a different number of signatures. For ours, I think it was 200 or 300 signatures. Uh, for Kanye West here, I think he needed 2,500 signatures. And they tell you, m maybe they didn't tell Kanye West, but with his level of resources, he would have known this. They tell you to get extra signatures. 
because some signatures will come up invalid. Someone will have not registered to vote properly and provided a slightly different name or address than what's on their voter registration. Sometimes you'll have four people in a household who will all want to sign your petition, your, your, your registration, and only three of them are registered to vote, or only two of them, or only one of them are registered to vote. So you might go knock on somebody's door and you might have a list in your hand and you might say, oh, uh, Ms. Jane Smith, uh, at this address, you know, we want to ask you to sign our petition for my candidacy. You know, here's my position and I'm running for this and that and will you sign my petition? It's not a vote for me, it's just allowing me on the ballot and then you can vote for me on the ballot if you want, but this is not a vote for me, this is just to get me on the ballot. And we'd explain all of that and most people were very happy to sign. Some people were very so happy to sign that like it would be more than just Jane Smith that wanted to sign. And there's nothing wrong with having more people sign even if those people turn out not to be registered voters. Uh, you know, there's nothing terribly wrong with having all by itself, invalid signatures on your ballot or on your petition. Now, maybe, maybe there's a way it could become something more if you're intentionally filling out people's names and signing for them and they never saw your petition and it's not them signing and filling it out, but rather you're the one doing it. That is some kind of election fraud. So if that's what Kanye West and his people did, somebody is gonna get in trouble for that or at least could get in trouble for that. But what, what happened here from what I understand is just that Sean Tenner of the 46th Ward, as a Democratic committee person, moved to challenge West's petition, particularly after Kanye West had some things to say about Harriet Tubman. Now, I don't know uh, my history and Harriet Tubman all that well. I know that she was part of the uh, Underground Railroad, right? Uh, it seems like Kanye West accuses Harriet Tubman of not freeing slaves, but rather enslaving people who were already enslaved, bringing them to the north to just enslave them up north. I have no idea how true or not true that is. It sounds not true, but, it, I, you know, I, I honestly did not research it for this story. But that was the thing that motivated Sean Tenner to make a motion to challenge West's ballot petition. And so that's what triggers a review of the signatures. And what they found was that of the 3,600 or 3,700 signatures he had, 1,900 were invalid, leaving him with only 1,200 valid signatures and he needed 2,500 signatures. So apparently he's missed the deadline and there will be no Kanye West on the ballot in Illinois in November. Part of this doesn't even really matter because Kanye has said in his own words that he is not running for president. Rather, he is running to take votes away from Joe Biden because he is a Trump supporter. Because Kanye is a Trump supporter, he wants people to vote for Kanye. Somehow a vote for Kanye is not a vote for Joe Biden, but it's also not a vote for Trump. So I'm not exactly sure his thinking here. But my best of my understanding or guess is that he's hoping that his supporters are more likely to vote for Biden. Therefore, if they don't vote for Biden, it's essentially a partial vote for Trump. Very strange way to conduct one's politics, to put all this effort into a false presidential campaign. But that appears to be what's happening. I don't think Kanye West is going to jail for election fraud. I'm pretty sure no one else is going to jail for election fraud unless somehow one or more of these 1900 invalid signatures is shown to be fraudulently obtained. What that would mean would be someone from the campaign or Kanye West himself would have to literally fill it out and sign themselves. When I was running and when we were collecting signatures, you weren't supposed to fill out the person's name and address and sign for them. You could go to the name and address, you could ask them, and then they have to fill out the line on the form. They can't say, oh yeah, just fill in my name, oh go ahead, you can sign on my behalf. No, 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 no. They have to sign. And one of the reasons they have to sign and fill it out is because this has to match their signature for their voter registration as well. That's one of the ways that they check 
whether you're properly conducting yourself is your signature will match your voter registration. Same thing on election day when you vote in person and you sign your name saying that you are about to vote, uh, that they're checking that the, the um, election judge is checking that and making sure that the signature matches. Unless they knew they were fake or faked them themselves, it's probably not election fraud and probably not even anybody getting in trouble. The whole consequences for this have already happened. He didn't have enough signatures. He's off the ballot. He would have been on the ballot without a challenge because no one challenged it until Sean Tenner challenged it. The elections board doesn't necessarily raise a challenge all by themselves. It, it usually has to be by another candidate. And, and usually, th this does happen a lot. A lot of times candidates challenge each other's petitions and, and, and other filings. The way Kanye West could have insulated himself from this is to obtain extra signatures. I was told to obtain anywhere from 50% extra signatures to 300% extra signatures. So if you need 1,000 signatures, get somewhere around 1,500 to 3,000 uh, signatures because some number of them will be invalid, and that protects you. So it obviously, they didn't obtain enough here. It looks like they got 3,128 signatures, but 1,928 were ruled invalid. So that's a lot. That's, a, that's two thirds of your signatures ruled invalid. So yeah, that's what I think's going on there. I don't think anyone's getting in trouble. I think it's kind of stupid that Kanye West is running to begin with. Uh, he's obviously doing it for, if not an illegal purpose, at least some kind of improper purpose. Uh, whether that is anything more under the law, I don't think so, but he's literally announced how disingenuous his campaign is. Anyway, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. That's our show. Thanks for joining me. I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and this is Lawful Masses, your favorite legal news and education channel here on YouTube, Flowplane, and Twitch. This is a community-supported channel. Thank you very much for your monthly support on Patreon on Sponsus. In the month of August, thank you to the following $50 plus supporters. Nicely Done Defense, Wes Telge, Citizen of the Sovereign, John Steele, Gavin Bernard, Evie, Kyle Mudrock, Spirit Bear, Jan Negre, Benjamin Hightoff, Steven, Blackleaf, Cute Grills in Your Area, Long Reach Jones, Definitely Not Prenda Law, Ugly Grill, Shiloh T, Rudolph Besherer Jr., Oscar the Prophet, Jay Dixon, Hot Grills in Your Area, Ammonite, NG, Brandon Abel, Torpedon, and Creative Corruptions. And thank you to the $5 plus supporters who are scrolling on the uh, LED simulator panel behind me. And everybody will be in the description of the videos that drop. I'll see you in the videos. I love you all. Bye.